everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's quick video, we are going to do a mnemonic device for remembering the signs and symptoms of a pneumothorax. Remember, a pneumothorax is a collapsed lung. So let's get into the mnemonic. So it's P thorax. So P stands for pleuratic pain. So the patient will report this chest pain, but it's a specific type of chest pain that gets worse with their breathing. T is for tracheal deviation. So because of the pressure changes in the chest, it's going to cause our trachea, which is supposed to be midline, right? It's going to cause our trachea to deviate. It's going to shift to one side, depending on which lung collapsed. Hyperresonance. So when we percuss on our patient, when we tap on their back, they're going to have hyperresonance sounds. The onset is sudden, so it occurs right away. They're going to have reduced breath sounds, so when we auscultate, when we listen to their lung sounds, they're going to be very, very quiet and diminished, hard to hear. Absent fremitus, so you know we have tactile and vocal. So vocal is when we're talking and we're hearing the sounds and the way that the sounds uh, are changed by the chest, right? So that's going to be absent. Or if we're touching, if we're palpating, it's also going to be absent because the lung has collapsed. And then finally, to confirm, an x-ray. An x-ray is going to let us know for sure, yes, we have a pneumothorax. And on that x-ray, we're probably going to see that tracheal deviation as well. So that's just a quick little mnemonic about the signs and symptoms of a pneumothorax.